Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning reports on Thursday 18th of August with me Richard Pro Market Analyst and at Markets. We've got a positive start on markets actually, de decent risk sentiment and that's basically been driven by these Fed minutes that we had last night. The market sort of viewed the Fed minutes with uh, a fairly dovish outlook really. Um, the Fed seems to think that um, sort of the majority of the uh, of the committee are on, on board for sort of holding off from rate hikes um, and uh, that has certainly had an impact across markets. We've seen Dollar weakness, let me show you, dollar weakness falling away, it was back underneath that 95.25 and holding underneath that though, so could well now see continued weakness on the dollar, back towards that 93 support, that was the June low. Uh, you're seeing Treasury is under a little bit of pressure as well, falling away, although slightly picked up uh, on the two year this morning, but yeah, that 10 years, again slightly low. Um, and also across um, across equity markets, we've had decent support. You've got the uh, European markets all sort of around about 0.3, 0 0.4% higher. Um, and uh, that sort of follows on from the, the S&P 500, which, um, or Wall Street generally, which picked up after the Fed minutes and closed around the day high, um, sort of unwinding earlier losses. So uh, general risk sentiment is looking pretty positive today. The dollar is weaker against all the Forex majors, the um, Aussie and the Kiwi are main outperformers, really. Um, and and uh, I'll go through a few of these charts in a bit, but certainly the, um, the outlook looks fairly positive for risk appetite today. Um, in terms of what we've got to look forward to today, well, retail sales to the UK. Now, this is interesting because this is at 9.30 today and is is um, sort of the uh, July reading for retail sales. Now, obviously, July um, data is going to be important because uh, it'll be the first month clean of the Brexit uh, decision. So a whole month worth of um, data following on from the Brexit decision. And retail sales obviously will show you how the uh, the consumer has reacted. Now, on an ex-fuel basis, which is sort of the adjusted retail sales number for the UK, um, it's expected to improve month on month by 0.4%. So the month after June, uh, retail sales would have gone up 0.4%. So that's a positive reaction in itself. And also holding on to the 3.9% um, year on year data. So let me just show you the year on year number, which 3.9% would be generally p pretty positive that's um certainly has been a sort of an improving track having sort of fallen away quite sharply around the turn of year and um, we've got a, a nice improvement in retail sales so 3.9 would be considered to be a positive number now into the afternoon we then get the US data the Philly Fed um, at 1.30 uh, it's expected to come in at uh, plus two spot zero so uh, you can see that the last few months have sort of been fluctuating around the flat line. So again, that wouldn't be excessively positive for the dollar. Um, but uh, the uh, weekly jobless claims also at 13265 expected. Basically bang on where we've been for the last three weeks. So uh, again, nothing really positive that will come out of those uh, numbers if that is the case. So that takes me to my chart of the day, which is the silver price. Now, silver is very interesting because gold and silver have both been, I think, fairly disappointing in recent weeks. Um, we've seen a succession of uh, sort of disappointing candles, moves higher in today, but then sold off into the close. All these candles, similar to gold, really, in the past sort of week or so, have got long upside shadows. Um, or disappointing closes basically on um, on that, which would suggest that the, the bulls are, are present but fail to get any real traction in the day. And what we've seen so far yesterday, a bit of a rebound off the low, but again, is this another day which we're going to see a bit of a disappointing move? Now, you've got gold, which is interestingly sort of um, having tested the uh, its resistance of this downtrend. Now, silver is nowhere near testing that resistance, that re downtrend on silver 2016. So it's still a good 2% below that level. And uh, it would suggest, I think, this general consolidation, which again is being seen on gold, the general consolidation on silver, uh, which we've seen over the last sort of seven or so weeks, continues. And I think this downtrend would suggest it's sort of drifting back towards the test of possibly of the 1920 level. Now, yesterday we had an intraday sort of low dating back to one, two, three odd weeks, um, and then a rebound. But uh, again, the, the momentum is fairly sort of much corrective. Now, I do think that this is a corrective move which will be bought into because I think that the, the medium to longer term outlook is still pretty strong. You can see this trend higher. You can see the breakout. You can see the sort of moving averages which are all improving in bullish sequence. You can see the momentum indicators which are all sort of uh, now bullishly sequenced as well. 
MACD lines above neutral, RSI sort of still above 50 to be honest. I still think this is a, a corrective move that's likely to find support around that 1920 or just behind and then push back higher again. I'm expecting an upside break from this sort of effectively this trading range between sort of 2070. Uh, 1920 and 2070 but for now we are correcting in a, a, a sort of a, a minor slide here you can see on the hourly chart this uh, corrective move momentum indicators not excessively negative so again that would suggest that the selling pressure isn't isn't ex exceptional and um, it's just that it's in a, in a, it's in a sort of a, a bearish drift on a sort of a a lower high basis and lower low basis so the the reaction that we've seen today finding resistance around 1993 rolling over again rolling over it's just another sort of sort of little bit of a disappointing move i think that the near term slide is continuing but i would be expecting to buy that slide at some stage because i think that um, there will be support above 1920 that's likely to drive you back through this uptrend sorry back through this downtrend and then sort of retesting the highs again but uh, for now silver continues to remain in its minorly corrective slide so i wish you good luck in your trading today on silver and i will speak to you later i think